Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me. Okay, right. what is happening guys? Welcome back to another vlog and this is gonna be the final one, well not the final vlog, but the final one in lovely Dubai, which we've got at the St. Regis at the moment, which is an absolute mood, and it's an absolute vibe, you know that mood, the mood emoji. So just having a very expensive coffee right now. Um, Michael doing some work, I'm doing some work as well. And um, yeah, we're just gonna go now over to see Chris, AKA Swaggy C at his studio. Well, it's not his studio. He's just shooting and filming content at the moment. So we're gonna go catch him um, and just meet up with him. I've never been able to catch him, but it'll be nice just to put, you know, name to, like, a face to it and meet him in person. I just kind of pick his brains a bit as well because he's pretty cool. So we're gonna get some content for you guys. Um, and that's pretty much it. Right now I'm kind of just in the workflow. I'm really ready to go home. I've been gone for way too long, but it was kind of necessary. And these are the sometimes the sacrifices that you have to make. And you've got to look at yourself and think, what am I doing? It's just when you go further in life, it's just the workload and the sacrifices you make are different. You've got to ask yourself, are you sacrificing right now? Are you doing whatever it takes? Are you truly committed? So, speaking of committed, go check out What Cars Podcast. Because, well, check it out after this vlog. Don't cut out. But this vlog is more important. But yeah, that, that podcast did really, really well. So, appreciate What Car, the hospitality. Dubai's been great. But I'm done. I'm ready to go home. You ready to go home, Michael? He is ready to go home. All right. We'll see you in the next clip. I'm on way to go see Chris. Oh, I love driving, man. I miss driving. Nice to have a nice car again. I haven't been driving in a nice car for a long time. It's too much uh, ag in the UK, you guys. If you know, you know. So currently in a G. Shout out to uh, Ratara Aura, that's his name. But that wouldn't quite a few times. He always hooked me up, so hook me up again. Thank you, my bro. So we're just enjoying the views, man. Look at this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. But I also want to mention, don't forget to check out the link in the description for the application link on the waitlist because I'll be launching a new 12-month program. That's right, 12 months. Not 12 week, 12 month. And that's everything. That's literally property, business, life, uh, relationships, fatherhood, the whole thing. I just wanted to make everything, like everything I have condensed all into this and it will be drip fed into you. As soon as you join, you get access and then it will be drip fed to you over a monthly period. So there's a 12 month accountability to it as well. So if you want to do that, link in the description for the application and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Beautiful. I got floaters in my eyeball, coasters by the shot glass, smoking let my mind fall, plenty of roaches, no air. Yeah, it's on. Wait. It's red, that's on. Yeah, Red's recording. I got you. I'm not used to the, the new Digi. Uh, DJI one. Uh, yeah, they're pretty sick, man, because they just make like, life a lot easier. Yeah, my uh, videographer just bought this um, last week. He told me about it, but I never really tried it yet. Bro, so. do you know what would be sick? Because you're doing vlogs and stuff. It would be good for you to, to keep these on to do vlogs, because then when you know when you're doing the road marks, what I found is... I know. Little, for it's, me, it's, a lot, yeah. it's frustrating. I know, it's All annoying. All the fucking noise and stuff. Mm -hmm. Who has absolutely blessed us oh, for his time today and um, I think that if I may just to kind of start off I think one of the biggest thing is there's a lot of renowned respect for people that like we said earlier like the me versus me type of thing and you've got your own lane your own path it's like look if you guys want to do you you do you but you're so focused on yourself and it's one of those things because obviously I start, I'm new to the industry and hearing that but a lot of people same thing as you you've got you so much going on in the background and just a quick conversation of you you just have much more of a business head on you like trading's great all of this stuff is great but I think once you've mastered trading and once you're at that level, there's only so much you can do, Correct. right? Where business is so much more fulfilling, so much more building. Correct. I love the word building yeah. in specific. And obviously you were telling me a few things you're doing. So I'm going to pick your brain for on like sure. the business for and sure. stuff. But what kind of, I think the first step is like in numbers, how many businesses do you have? 
and how do you manage all of those? So before I've had five, and I'm gonna cut it down to three. There's one business that I'm gonna consolidate into one, because they're, they're not the same, but they can be the same. Um, so going forward, we want, no, four, I lied. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so there's four. And consolidating them, it's when you try to find businesses that are different, it's a little bit easier. Um, so you can have, you know, something with a course, or you can have something that is, you know, more educational. You can have your own personal trading. You can have, and this is not a business. I'm not, you know, right now, but I know people out there who are affiliated with brokers, right? That's not a business, but that's still a source of income, right? Income. I, I probably have eight sources of income, but four businesses, right? Mm. Um, but when you're talking about managing all of them, you got to hire the right people. You have to like actually get out there and hire people and put them in positions to succeed. Because if you don't, you're going to run yourself into the ground. So in 2020, I made six million dollars, and that at the time that was the most money I ever made. I made more than that since then, but at the time, the most I ever made. I didn't know how to balance at all. Like my wife was super unhappy because all my time was spent on the businesses. Lucky. So I spent 2021 and 2022 getting that back and trying to find a good balance between business and wife and i found the answer to that is actually diversifying and trusting your team to make decisions on your behalf mm. so i think that's so important because at the end of the day there's only so far you can go that's it like I, i'm not going to disregard you or disrespect you or anything like that but there's only so much one man can do mm -hmm. but when you have a whole team you have a guide it and also you're what like i know how much you, you love your wife and yeah. your family and yeah. i feel that obviously as well is we wouldn't be half the man we would be without our wives. Not even close. It's as simple as Not that. even close. Because women just ground us in a different way. I wouldn't be here. Like, like, I, would, like I said, like I got rich because of her, right? Like I, there was a time I wanted to focus on TV, and she like we had an argument one time in 2019 when we weren't really when I wasn't bringing in any money really, and she was like, when I met you, you were a day trader. You were making like four thousand a month, and that's still that's enough for us to pay our bills right now when we're living in Kansas City. And now you're trying to go this whole TV red carpet route and be on all this fame and stuff like that because like we were on TV and like. It felt good going to the airport and every single second people were asking for like your autograph or pictures of X, Y, and Z. Um, and I didn't see a path in trading where that could happen, even though now, like, I'm pretty sure you probably get it too, but when we go to the airport, X, Y, and Z, people still come up to us like, oh, mm -hmm. you're swaggy, I got your quick, boom, 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 right? Mm -hmm. So, but I didn't see a path like that. So she got me straight and that was one of the main reasons I was on my channel all the time that pushed me back into trading. And then <laughs> luckily the moment was after that, right? What would we do with, uh, with about our women? Shout out to them. Yeah. It's honestly mad. Like it's, it's, it's funny because like, I'm sure she's had the same, like constantly supporting you. And then there's all these, I wouldn't say like, they're definitely trials and tribulations, but I'm sure there's times where you're banging your head against the wall, but then she's got your back mm -hmm. and she helps you find your path and always. Find it moving forward. Always. Is she, do you always lean on her now as well? Like on like, because uh, for me, and the reason, this is more of a personal question actually, but forget this, mm -hmm. but I find that I think it's because you have a strong relationship. I don't see many people, they're all either young, no kids, no, mm -hmm. nothing like that. Mm -hmm. But um, any major decisions, even if my missus doesn't understand anything, I always ask her. Yeah. Because she gets to. the answer out of me, even though I already know it, but she adds so much That's more. That's a fact. <laughs> you're That's smiling. Fact. Yeah. You're, but she adds so much more logic where I feel Correct. so stupid. Correct. Even like, why did I even? Yeah. To be fair, we, we, have, <laughs> all, we have all the, the details. So we may have a personal bias in some things, like even decisions that like I want to make or I don't want to make. We know who it will affect, who will be upset, who will be happy, X, Y, and Z. And she's coming from a non-biased mm. point of view and just going from a logical point of view. Like this makes the most sense, no matter what. Take the emotions out of it, mm. and they do a better job at taking the emotions out of it. Even though wives can be emotional in other situations, when it comes to business, they can strip themselves. Whereas like us, we're just like, well, this will affect this person. Well, what if I do this? Yeah. This person will be up to things like that. At least for me, you know? Yeah, I say so. it just spirals yeah, yeah, yeah. so fucking far. Yeah, over and over again. <laughs> that, 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 that she just pulls me back in and hones me out into it. Yeah. So why'd you go through like all this business? Because business is not fun. Like it's fun. I love it. But when I say not fun, it's, it's a lot of stress. Yeah. On yourself. When it is. Content you're doing well on, uh, like trading you could do well on, and like yes you can do more. There's always like the grass is always greener, but that's more. I'm sure that's more than enough to provide for you and the family Correct. as it is. And I know that's for a fact because that's the same as me. But Correct. I'm still building a, like a legacy for my family and kids. And Correct. Stuff. But why do you do it? Well, for me, it's a few things. One, maximum impact. Like I told myself when I was young and I was broken, I had $2 in my bank account that I'd start businesses that would change lives because I was homeless growing up, right? So being homeless growing up, I said, there's people like me in my position who may not have the influence that I would have. So if I can have my influence, I'd be doing a good disservice if I just shut everything down, stayed at home with my wife and my kids and didn't give any, like, there's people whose lives I've changed just from the four years alone. Imagine 20, imagine 30, right? I, like when I die, people are going to be like, the, the people in my circle who lives I change can be affected. Number two is I do want to make nine figures and beyond, right? I, I just do. Like I want to live the life of having a private jet, but my wife never got, well, 
to this day, my wife don't got to worry about nothing. Like, my family, like, we're rich, obviously, yeah. right? But there's rich and then there's richer, right? There's rich. wealth. I said there's rich, 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 rich. And yeah. then there's like the yeah. rich, like rich, 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 yeah, like, right? Literally. Literally, like, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, and <laughs> the reality is 11 million a year is not F you rich. It's no, just not. It's, it's, it's not. rich. And most people would love that and stop, but... But it's, it's a, not a PJ rich. like a private jet, no. No, you're not buying a private like, jet. Like if you're doing enough. legs from mm-hmm. America to mm-hmm. here, the, mm-hmm. and, uh, uh, Need more than the that. charter is alone. And oh, I'm, I'm, I'm I play. A, I'll show you right here on my laptop. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even lying. I keep this as a tab on my laptop every single day. Man, that's manifesting. Private jet. That's I'm rich. not even lying. I have it here. It's already here. I have three private jets here. Mate, do you know what this I is? Well? The, I was just reading. I'm not this, even lying. The, the golf stream as well. I was just reading the. Um, I'm not even lying. The 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 secret, and that's the power of what you're doing. I'm right now. telling you, bro. That's I'm the telling next you. Level. I'm telling you. I have it there. So it's like, I have the affirmation there as well, where I keep the tab open no matter what until I buy it. It's gonna be up for <laughs> five years. Well, believe it or not, I plan on buying one in the next two years. Believe it or not, because I'm I'm this close to getting to where I want. But private jets aren't as expensive as people, as people think. Right, I've seen people say their private jet, even in Dorado Beach, like theirs cost five million dollars, and like the upkeep is like you know two or three million dollars. Like, and five million dollars mean like like uh, uh, financing it. it. Yeah, fi- yeah, I'll charter it too. Yeah. But financing it, but plus charting it, it's not that expensive, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spend. If you 1. finance 5, it, it yeah. is really like I'm not, it's affordable. I, yeah, I don't. I wanted to say that, but I feel like it's we sound so. Yeah, but it's we sound so. Dis- I, I don't care. Five million dollars <laughs> for a jet. For a 2015 jet is affordable, dog. Yeah, because you know with, I mean? with, with a deposit and then like yeah. a, a hefty down payment and a monthly, it's, it's really it's not affordable. as bad as you think because that would be cheaper than chartering it. it and is. then also, if you do charter the plane, even if you break even, because that's it's what still I thought, good. I don't care about I don't care about the, No, I don't care about the process. As long as I, there's some sort of break even so that, because you have to keep the team on yeah. standby, right? For me, for, for me, well. yeah, for me, even close to it because I spend 1.5 to 1.7 on employee salaries alone. Mm. So if I can do that, I can spend that on, and if I can get. Because I watch, uh, if you guys watch, go watch the the jet business on London. He's super super dope. He sells uh, oh, cool. jets like he like brokers jets, right? I think I, I yeah, see him. He's yeah. the older gentleman. Older gentleman, right? yes. He's, he's, he's do you know what? dope. Him as he's a dope. salesman. He's dope. He's the best. He's the, the best. Tonality. Please watch him. He's the best. Uh, content wise, he's one thing, but as a salesman, he's the best. He's wow, the, best. the way he pitches, the yeah. way if you actually understand like sales from the next next level, the yeah. way he pitches, the way he takes you through the process, and then asking the right questions mm-hmm. to Chris. Ooh, he's the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. and now you're sold. Listen to him. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talking to him, he talks about like when you charter it, like your your expenses can go from you know one to two million dollars a year to mm-hmm. like now you're only spending a hundred k a year to yeah. or even breaking even when when you charter it. Right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's that's one of the reasons in terms of maximum impact. But another thing is. It's two more things to your question about why I, I do the business. It's I saw something from Alex Becker online where he said, you look at all the billionaires in the world and this much came from tech, this much came from like just a, a standalone business, this much came from real estate, and he put this much came from traders. Zero was the number next to traders. Traders will get you, uh, being a trader will get you a million, it'll get you multi-millions, it'll get you eight figures, but the B word, no. there's not a single trader in history who could say they got a billion from a trader. And you look at George Soros, he had other businesses. He, he wasn't just a, oh, I'm just a, a trader and I made a billion from trading from zero to a billion without other, no, no. It's like Mark Zuckerberg made a billion from his business, from yeah. tech, from Facebook, right? And when he put that up, I was like, wow, that's that really hit me, right? Because yeah. you know what I mean? Like you, you look at how business, can impact so many more people more than just your own trading could. Because I can make two, three million a year in trading, but business can get to 20. It can scale. It can mm. scale fa- like faster than you can. Mm. You know, so that was, you know, another reason on top of doing the business. I, I really want to impact people, but I also want to scale my own personal That's life. That's why you have the, the same golden... Um, Go harder. For charity, you get back because I, I was like I said, I was poor growing up. I, th- I think like that's the thing though, because uh, God is that de- you definitely speak to God because we had the background we had, and um, we got out of the situation Correct. we had, which was yet again my personal opinion, grace of God. It doesn't you wouldn't be like I wouldn't be here without him. Absolutely, like, I, even, I was not as religious until like two years ago. But really, then he put super everything, dope. bro. He that's just super put dope. everything into me. I knew that he already had the plan. I always believe in the universe and everything like that. That's super dope. But it's just God is just honestly like everything is to him because. Because what I say is for people like you, you've got your family, you've mm-hmm. got your employees, you've got your businesses, you've got everything. Like, mm-hmm. the, it could just endless. I can go yeah. endless. Like, you've got your jets, you've got the content, you've got me, you've got friends, you've got mm-hmm. networking. I can go on and on and blow up. But then I always, and this was the same as me, but who's got you? Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I think of that all the time. And your wife has you, but not in the same way. She loves you and supports you, but you can't just drop on that. Because mm-hmm. right that's not mm-hmm. fair. Mm-hmm. And that's not her problem. It's a you problem. Mm-hmm. But who has us is God. Yeah. God, no, no God is like that, you know, the, the Greek way shoulders the world, but he's just holding yeah, everyone, yeah. including us. And that just gives me... Fully agree. 
the lives. They say both. Right. <laughs> but but yeah, that's it. So we're going going back to 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 the to the businesses, and you build that, and you obviously want to hit the the nine figure mark and doing rich, 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 rich with the charity as well. What's the main finish? Like, say, okay, you want to help people. Mm -hmm. Cool. Specifics. Like, I just this is a personal thing again mm -hmm. now because it just kind of bro, you're speaking real fact. What would you be like? Okay, I did it. Like, what is to you? With that golden, like you know, the charity and everything, like I've done it. Like I'm happy. Like I'm just going to keep going because like, someone like you is not going to stop. But it's done. It served a good purpose. It's 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 weird because I don't think gold hearted will ever have that moment. Because I could say that from the first one that I did, with that seeing them cry and get all the furniture they want when I did my first mission and seeing how I changed their life. I could say that's that's it alone, but. I don't think there's ever going to be enough missions. Maybe, maybe if I go to Africa and do something over there like Mr. Beast has done, maybe. But no, I think with the business, there's exits, right? There's exits, and like you can make a hundred million exit. That's a I did it. With charity, that's that right. that's never ending, right? So for me, I've always said this is, even one of my friends. I said my ultimate goal is to either exit a business or make nine plus figures and be done with the business and just be a philanthropist. That's it. Like just give back. That's it. That's really because like. I don't think people understand who's watching this, who's never been homeless, what it's like to be homeless and that people come into like a soup kitchen, try to feed you food and or, or give you food, like being on the street and asking for stuff. Like I remember those days. I was six years old and I was 13. I remember it was like it was yesterday. And for me, it's like knowing that there's people out there who are going through that, who are embarrassed to tell people that when at the at the age, because I was embarrassed when I was 13 to tell my friends that. I'm, I don't want people to go through that. So that's the end goal for me. So I don't know if there's, a, if there's ever like a while wow, I did it. I've already felt that with becoming rich and becoming successful. All right, I did it. Everything else is just, I'm, I'm projecting now at this point. Yeah. So. Fantastic. Yeah. I just think that was just emotional. <laughs> 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 it's just cause like, it's, uh, the, the, the truth is, is like, um, the pain of, it's not like you, pain will never go. Me, me and Riz have very, you know, of course you know Riz. Yeah, yeah. Me and Riz have very, very similar backgrounds and the same pain. Uh, we did a podcast and it couldn't go out. It was that bad. Really, bro, I, I, bro, I cried. It was just we we literally, I couldn't. We both can't explain it. We both literally had like single mums, the same traumas our mums gave us. There's one specific event which I can't really talk about, but I'll tell you off off camera. And we both had it, which was fucking weird in the podcast. Really? And then we went so far deep into the podcast. I was like, fuck the like, fuck the podcast, bro. Like, God has put me here because I've got over that trauma. Really, and um. Yeah, again, like God is That's powerful, tough. and He's uh, He's 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 give, He's healed me mm -hmm. essentially when I found God. But I know Riz is, is still healing. That's for sure. That's the thing. I know Riz, but I don't. I don't know what he's dealing with. Everybody's dealing with something, but I don't yeah, know what he's dealing with. Dealing with someone, but I don't know what he's dealing with. Yeah, to be yeah, to be yeah, to be fair, yeah, yeah. and he's uh, he's still healing. But I know. But Good. If, if, even I'm st everyone's still healing. Everyone's still working. But that's why I feel like how you're passionate about one thing, but it's like when you have true pain, when you've been through true. It's different. Hurt, you never wish it upon your enemies. So like, even if enemies, you're like, bro, you're done wrong, whatever. Go about your day, God will punish you, whatever. Mm -hmm. But right now, my focus is people who are in that position who don't deserve it, mm -hmm. I just want to help you. Correct, that's it. And that's- That's, that's, that's exactly all I care it. about, we'll go hard. So that's yeah. why I'm focusing so hard in the business to give back. So, yeah. you know, that's why I'm, I'm glad you said that you and, well, you said you've gotten over, but Reg is still healing, because- Tony Robbins helped me. Did he? I fucking broke down. Like Shout out to Tony Robbins. I love Tony Robbins changed my life. Shout out to Tony Robbins. I will buy his courses and never ever, even if I don't have time to, I will support whatever course yep. he's doing because yep. Tony Robbins is is my savior, is probably a good word. Um, and have you ever done UPW or anything? Obviously? Never UPW, but I, I watched his uh, I Am Not Your Guru on Netflix and got all his books and stuff. So, so the, the I'm Not Your Guru is, is, is exactly what happened to some degree. Basically, he really takes you down a path. Mm -hmm. And we are so imbued by life and so many things happen, we don't really take the time to look at all the limiting beliefs, the pain and trauma that cause us to be the way we are, the way we dress, the way we are, the, everything about you right now, dressing, do your articulation Correct. and everything, Correct. is a sum of all the past. Like how you are so thriving not to ever go back poor is because you know how it felt. Correct. How you're thriving to give back to other people because you know that it's, you probably thought the same thing as what we said in this was like, um, and this was the, the, the line that got me was like in The Lion King, you know, where he's looking up mm -hmm. to Mufasa mm -hmm. and then he's always th it's like, why me? Yeah. The amount of times we stared up in the rain, stared up in the sky and going, why me? And mm -hmm. that's how I felt when you said that. It's like you were in a situation, but you also like, why me? But then you're now blessing. It's like, OK, why me? Cool. I've changed it. Correct. For the next kid. Correct. For the next Chris. Yeah. Why me? Don't worry. I got you. bro. Yeah. And I understand why I went through it now. 
like hindsight 2020. You understand it now. It so strong. Yeah, of course. You understand it now, but during those times, you don't understand why you're going through that. Mm-hmm. You don't. You just don't. Everybody, like I said, everybody's dealing with their own thing in some sort of fashion. Not everybody was homeless, but they dealt with certain things. And you wonder why you, until 10, 20, 30 years later, you understand why you. You change when you say, why not me? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, my, yeah. That's my, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. when, when, when I said that, that's when my life changed. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm actually glad it was me, just because of what where I am now. Like where, where I am now, it, it, if I didn't go through that when I was young, I would not be here. I wouldn't have had the drive or the, the motivation to, to, to try to do what I'm doing now. That's fucking, I, I want to leave that at that, because I was going to ask you more about business, but fuck the business. I think it, when your kids grow up to, to watch this, For this, sure. this and, uh, and when my kids watch it, and I, that's what I love about content, because we just talked about when you did the first episode, right? Mm-hmm. It's something that's documented and there stored forever. No matter what, it doesn't go Everyone away. Everyone can always go back and mm-hmm. watch it. And I think what you said there and how you felt there and how I'm feeling, <laughs> I think that's, that's a good way to end that clip there. And, For sure. But I appreciate you, man. My guy. Thank you. No matter for, what. I'm going to give you a hug. No matter what. Appreciate you, bro. Trying to feed my village and embrace all sinners. I live my song. I'm not opposed to praying, but it's been so long. If you win the sky and I just in my thought, with no one else around. Tell everyone about this, Dan. Tell everyone, man. What are we eating? This is where we are. This is like a hundred pound sandwich. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, but it's actually proper wagyu um, steak sandwich, which they make unbelievably well. Listen. I love food and I love spending money on food. I can eat something that's one pound, I can eat something that's a hundred pound, but it has to make sense. If you pay one pound and it tastes really good, it's worth it. Or if it tastes so crap, it makes you feel sick, it's not worth it, right? Even if you pay 50 pound and it tastes horrible, it just looks good, it's not worth it. Everything's about a value for me. This, I can't tell you, like I, when I come to Dubai, I don't have this every time. I force myself not to have this every time because if you enjoy it even more. It's like if you go, if you, in, give into the luxuries all the time every time and you just don't enjoy it so this i'm looking forward to and do you know what before we go back home and end the vlog and if uh, i would do one bite go on. On, the, on the stream it's so good that i'm not even sharing with michael because michael he had a bit yesterday where we were at another place and working something he's like hey, it's all right it's not really his thing but he, he destroyed the sushi you love the uh the salmon one right yeah, any sushi, to be honest with you. Yeah, he's really loving sushi. Go on, give, go. give us a bite. Give us a bite. <laughs> and, review? Bro, I was appreciating it. <laughs> nah, bro, for, give us a review. Look at that. It just falls off. Melts in your mouth flavor the palette, Japanese music, the environment. Also, good food is one thing. The company and how you're enjoying it is another thing. So, really enjoy this, guys. I was here with LV. Wait, wait, hold on. This is not even mine. This is yours, dickhead. Bro sat here with his AP, his Wagyu steak. Did you say Laurel? What's this? There's diamond earrings. It's prime up top. It's Reese, actually. There's Gucci sliders. Oh. If you don't think this guy's got hasn't got money, bro, look just look at his slides and you don't know. Money means nothing. It's all about experiences. Fuck the money. But what buys the experiences? Money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's going on? So that is the day done. Honestly, me and Michael had the most horrendous diet today. Um, he had. What do you have? Too much. You had. What do you have for lunch? Now I'll have a breakfast. Okay, we'll just have a Shake break. Shack for breakfast. And then? So I cut Harley's for lunch. And then we had. The donut. Donut. I had some of your Chinese foods. Had some of your wrap as well. The Chinese food was the only thing that was semi healthy. Not really, it was dumplings. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just pastry and prawns and soup. It's all pastry. 
well, if you've got a fucking greasy ass burger and fried chips. It was all worth it though, not my life. Yeah, Mike was slowly dying at the moment. So anyway, that's the end of the vlog. It was really big pleasure to, to meet Chris, uh, aka Swaggy C. You can look at the screen right there. Who's that? Who the fuck is that guy? So my podcast with uh, with Carl and Titans of Tomorrow was pretty cool. Hopefully we can get a few more podcasts coming up this year as well. Overall things are looking pretty good um, and that's pretty much it. So all I have to say is remember to like, share, subscribe. We are going to be definitely doubling down on more and more content for you guys. These vlogs are you know, starting to become an integration of our lives and I hope you guys have enjoyed all the Dubai series and Thailand series. I think there's nearly eight of this. This would be the last Dubai series that there is. So the vlog after this, it will be back at home. So I'm going to give it a little break of shooting for vlogs for a few, let's say a few weeks and then just focus on some sit down content and then yeah, get back to it. So remember to like, share and subscribe. I've got a massive mosquito bite, which is now starting to flame because I'm scratching it, which is lovely. We can't even see it, it's on this side. There you go. That's nasty. 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 Anyway, the bio's good, but I'm done. I'm so done. Time to go home, eh? Yeah, like I've had enough. The bank accounts are opened, uh, companies are informed, meetings were done, met some people, filmed some content. Uh, Michael developed on his uh, on, on, the, on the videography game as well, so the only way is upwards now. Our content's just gonna get better and better, our network is getting bigger and better. Bootcamp was done. Um, what else is there? Family time. Uh, well, when I say me, Jay and Carl, we didn't even get that much of it because Jay had to go back early. Some self time, some time with God, that was for sure. And then some food, uh, gratitude and just gains. We had the car, which was pretty fun as well. That's pretty much it. So it's been very eventful, very, very grateful. But if I'm honest, I'm really ready to go home. And on it, I'm really ready to stay home. Um, we will be doing an American trip, but I don't, I might even postpone that. Because I met I met actually Chris and all of them here and he's actually coming through at some point anyway, so there's no real big massive need for me to go out there just yet. So, Alright, anyway, remember to like, share, subscribe, subscribe in particular, comment, comment what you like about these vlogs and see you in the next one. Peace! Peace!